these people are in chains because they suffer from common mental illnesses such as schizophrenia, bipolar disorders, and even depression leading to suicidal tendencies. Why the chains? The answer is the reason for this video. In Ghana, the knowledge on mental health is very low and the facilities to support patients is alarmingly insufficient. Families have no idea or anywhere to turn to when their loved ones suffer mental illness. They rather take them to some religious leaders who chain them, deprive them of food in the name of fasting, and sometimes keep them in cages like animals. According to the WHO, 2.8 million people in Ghana suffer from mild to severe mental illnesses but there is little to no help or support for these individuals. Young people who are depressed and suicidal in an environment that isn't conducive for their struggle leaves them no choice than to give an end to their minds and taking their own lives. There is seemingly no suicide prevention plan in Ghana, yet suicide remains a crime in the country. But in some cases of mental illness, Especially for aged women, suicide will be a blessing as compared to how they are treated when they exhibit some symptoms of mental illness. They are sometimes accused of witchcraft, killed, maimed, or banished from their communities. Due to ignorance, victims of mental illnesses are prone to abuse of their human rights in spite of the pain of their mental health struggle. In Ghana, there are three mental hospitals in the country with a total of 1,322 beds. That is 5.5 beds per 100,000 population, two of which are located in the capital city and the other located in the central region of Ghana, which is also in the south of the country. The treatment gap is 98% of the total population expected to have a mental disorder. The Voice Foundation, with the support of the Voice community, creates awareness on mental health and its associated gender violence issues. The weight of the ignorance and the misdirection of hate is sometimes overwhelming. As we have tried to give support to some of these women who were close to being lynched and ostracized from their communities, it is draining to wake up to deaths of aged women who have been abused because their behaviors were misunderstood. Stories of women who are mentally ill and thrown out of their homes flood our inbox very often. Hearing stories of young men and women committing suicide, which is a crime in the face of such limited knowledge and mental health facilities, remains a heartbreaking phenomenon in the country. This is what we have decided to do every year. We want to invite well-trained and certified psychiatrists, psychologists and well-meaning volunteers within and from outside the country who have kind hearts and willing hands to help marginalized members of the population who suffer mental illness, especially those associated with violence and abuse. We seek to also train people to offer some mental health assistance to patients and build many centers, especially in rural areas, which will provide some help to manage their conditions in our absence. An annual tour of intensive education and awareness creation on mental health in the country is essential. We cannot do this alone. We need your help.